Okay, Dark Side of the Moon, Brain Damage. We're getting near the end of the album. Remember, we're keeping in, in, in this theme, this is a concept album, we're keeping in theme of these stages and seasons of life. And I've tried to maintain that. I've tried to be respectful, I think, of what their intent was in the album when they wrote the lyrics. But now here we are at this strange title, uh, Brain Damage. I guess the easy way out is to go the drug route and say, this is about getting high, this is about getting wasted, this is about trashing your brain over the number of years. But you know what, on this album, I, I don't see a lot of that. I, I, I actually don't. I, I don't think, maybe Pink Floyd the Wall, maybe, if this song was there. But I see this more, um, I see this more the latter stages of life. I see this more as dementia. I see this as people gone in their brains. I, I mean, this is, this is the last before death kind of season, maybe a sickness, mental illness, Alzheimer's. That's the way I'm looking at it, but you choose to look at it any way you want. Why did I do it that way? Because of the seasons of life, and that's what he's doing chronologically in this, in this uh, album. People that are locked into a mindset, maybe they're mentally healthy, but they're locked into a mindset and they're so rigid, there's no room for flexibility. Uh, people in elderly homes or nursing homes or, or in their own head, they've got this... Uh, battle going on that is unresolved at the latter stages of their life and they're just locked them down emotionally. Uh, people locked into unforgiveness and resentment and vengeance, they're brain damaged. Uh, not literally brain damaged, but emotionally damaged by their mindset. There's a difference. Um, there's, a, there's a line in this, in this lyric that says they, they raise the blade to make the change. It almost speaks, you know, especially back in the 70s of lobotomy. You know, movies like One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, of making radical changes in thought by operating on the brain itself, the frontal lobe. Uh, whatever the case may be, many people reach this stage. They didn't want to get there, but they did. Whether it was drugs, whether it was mental illness, whether it was dementia, elderly, whatever it is, or just a philosophical mindset, the fact is, we all can get there. And the question is, do we embrace change? Uh, the question is, do we, do we adopt this creepy laughter that comes into the middle of this song? Do we see the creepiness of it all? And it, and it harkens back to, did we live our life? Did we breathe and live our life to its fullness so that if we ever got to this place in the last, latter stages of life, we'd have no regrets for we did live with the time we had. We did live with the money we had. We did dream. Uh, we did bridge, we did help the younger generation. See, all of that seems to come together on this album, and I think that's really cool about Dark Side of the Moon. And then it, it's a precursor now. You know in the movies where the moon sort of represents lunacy, the lunar surface lunacy, craziness, uh, werewolves, howling at the moon, full moon, all that stuff. We're moving into this last song, Eclipse, which I think is interesting because brain damage precedes it. It's almost this craziness before the last song of Dark Side of the Moon when it all comes together at the same time. Anyway, I don't know if you enjoy the song. Maybe that's not the way to say it, but maybe you understand the song. Maybe that's something to look at. Anyway, brain damage. I'll see you on the dark side. 